Shalom. One. What's up, BZ Dynasty? So, what we're going to do is we're going to look at Light and Truth uh, by Robert Benjamin Lewis. As I let you guys know, a lot of this hidden history is in these old books. You can't trust books from the 1900s and 4s, you guys. If you want to find a lot of these hidden facts about who we are, the 1800s is the place to go, you guys. So we're going to look at Light and Truth and see how Light and Truth defines the word more. So as we see, the word Negro. Negro is derived from the Latin term Niger, meaning black. The following terms and definitions are in the American edition of Dr. Uh, Walker's Dictionary. More, as you can see, a synonym is Negro, right? You also see Negro, a synonym for Negro is black or more. So you see black, dark, cloudy, mournful, you know, a lot of these negative kind of stuff they try to put on our people. But, but what I want you guys to see is that Negro and more are synonymous. So these Moors during the time of the Moorish Empire were all the same African ethnicity. They were all Israelites by blood, yet some of them uh, practiced Islam and a lot of them practiced Torah. Some of them became secret crypto Jews, uh, so they, they professed themselves to be Christians just to be able to survive uh, the Christian north of the Iberian Peninsula. So let's go to the next page, you guys. So as you guys see on the next page, it goes... <coughs> So, as you guys can see on the next page, it goes into more detail about the word more, the word Negro, all of these being uh, synonymous. But what I want you guys to look at is that paragraph that starts with Micah. It says, Micah, the Moorstite, or a prophet of the Moors, right? Prophesied in the days of Hezekiah, king of Judah, and spoke to all the people of Judah, parentheses, the Moors saying thus saith the lord of hosts uh, zion shall be plowed like a field and jerusalem shall become a heaps all praises be to the most high yah 